Hello everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, this is going to be a pretty quick video because there's not much to talk about other than we're going to be replacing our air filter on the Husqvarna 701 LR. Here's the thing. Um, this is a, this is not, this is not the air filter you have. I can, I can assure you of that unless you have the RAID garage, either expansion tank or um, fill, um, uh, storage tank, which is what I have here. So what it does, is it takes out the OEM air filter and makes a super long cubby, which I have full of all kinds of wiring, which I promise you will get managed soon. I'm just taking a break right now from things. Um, quick review on the old air filter, which you probably have, if you have a, a, a one of these made before like October of 2021, is that um, this air filter wants to sort of come out from, it, it, it doesn't want to, it doesn't want to stay in place. You can kind of pull it out of there. You can kind of pull it out of there, and it will come out. Uh, also, it requires these two screws to hold it down. Um, it's a little bit finicky. Uh, I'm not happy with it. I. It's the only way to get this guy, so I dealt with it. I went to order a new air filter because I wanted to have one for the new year, and they actually on their website said, heads up, the air filter changed. We have a new design, so if you order a new air filter from us, we'll include the new cage for free. So I'm gonna uninstall this and show you guys how those look side by side. Let's get into it. Okay, so old. You can see you got this um, area here. This goes under that little base there. And it always, um, it hung over a little bit, but it would eventually fall out in my experience. And you can see how that's designed there. So you've got this that goes underneath and then you have those two pieces. Um, the new design, obviously very similar. You've got a, a little bit more metal in the cage. So, you can see here, a little more support. Though the engineers, I'm not. But you'll see, you'll now have, you now have a single screw that goes through to changing your air filter. So just one screw at the top as opposed to the other ones where you had the two that were um, eight mil uh, hex. Now, uh, modification goes. You're gonna be removing the base screws that was, uh, I've lost them already, hold on. Where did I put the, oh, there. So you had these guys here. These were through like this and you screw into them. No instructions came with this, but I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna take this piece here. This is the one piece that that bolts into and this is gonna sit right on top like this. Hey, we got it. So uh, very simple, it comes with these two black screws. I applied some Loctite to them, uh, 243, which is the lubricant um, uh, safe one. And this goes basically behind the old plastic housing. So now I'm gonna put this back onto the, uh, the little snorkel there, drop it all down, manage that, and then uh, we'll get to the uh, final installation. All right, that's back on. So now we're just dropping this onto here. The rest is pretty self-explanatory, but you do want to make sure that you've, you're have you seated pretty well. When you look down, you've got that lined up, Then you can just take the included piece here, sneak it in, Snake it in. There we go. Just screw that down. Uh, I'm going to make this pretty tight, which requires a, um, I think you two options, but it requires a screwdriver if for a simple method. So, just grab what we have handy. That's not very big, but tighten that down. That's moving because the whole body of that moves, but yeah, there you go. That's probably, it's probably tight enough. I don't want to go any tighter than that actually because it's starting to spin against the foam, which I don't want. Uh, that does come pre-oiled. You should clean it. Uh, you know, I'd say follow a normal dirt bike interval. All depends on your dust setting. Give it a visual glance. Um, mine was getting, this is about, uh, 500 miles without being cleaned, just to give you an example. But this was mostly road riding in this case. So it looks like I can take this, the old base, and this base, and these screws here, and put them uh, into a bag. I'll use this bag and save this for a rainy day. But this is the new Raid Garage uh, 701 air filter uh, for people that have either the tank or the auxiliary box. Uh, there's no point in getting this if you don't have that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Ride safe.